Welcome to Atherton on Air. I'm Eli Turner. And I'm Andrew Overstreet. Here's what's trending. Recently, the Service to Service Club at Atherton attended a memorial community service evening at the Down Syndrome of Louisville All Girls Pajama Party Lock-In. Let's hear from Ms. Tammy to further understand what the Service to Service Club is all about. So basically, it really wasn't a charity event. Uh, it was a community service event. That's what we do. Um, we uh, went to the Down Syndrome School of Louisville. Uh, all the students, or, or not students, but kids that are young people that go there, and actually a lot of them are adults, uh, have Down syndrome, and they were doing a all-female lock-in uh, with, with the ladies there. Uh, games, uh, karaoke, food. Uh, my kids went, we did crafts, arts and crafts assisted them. Uh, my girls painted their nails. Uh, March 10th, it was, it was a really nice event to be able to give back and have my kids experience just helping a group of uh, young people and older people that uh, you know, have Down syndrome. It's always great to see our students lending a helping hand, whether it's within the walls of our building or out in the world. Speaking of helping, are you interested in becoming a peer tutor for an extra elective class next year? Miss Vogt has spots open for those who are willing to assist with freshman English. Noah was a peer tutor for me sophomore year and now junior year. She is able to come into the classroom, um, anticipate our needs without us having to tell her to. She gets students started, getting their books out, giving them post-it notes. She navigates the classroom if they need materials. She's right there. What I love best about having Noah as a peer tutor is that I don't have to tell her what to do. Before peer tutoring, I think I was less confident speaking in um, public and kind of leading group discussions. After peer tutoring, I've been more com confident, obviously, with those things. Um, also, just like thinking of ideas and things to talk about off the top of my head and how to help students process um, topics. So if students want to sign up for peer tutoring, they simply need to talk to their English teacher or if they have Miss Pearlie, they can talk to Miss Pearlie. Make sure to put peer tutoring in your schedule if you're an incoming junior or senior. Teachers truly benefit from the support of their students. Or maybe if you're interested in taking field trips, you could sign up for Spanish 3 with Miss Valle. Here's some of her students explaining all the places they visited lately. It was a really cool cultural experience to see um, all of the dances and it was fun to get out of school with all of my friends and the bakery that we went to had some really cool treats. We went to the Memorial Auditorium to see, um, to watch a show with this Hispanic ballet and there was music and Hispanic dance from different countries and after that we went to for lunch to a Mexican restaurant which is called El Mariachi and some students also got the opportunity to visit a grocery store, a Mexican grocery store and a panaderia which is a bakery and um, we have a lot of fun. Um, I really liked the performance by Hispanic Flamenco Ballet. Um, I thought it was really good and I liked that it showcased a bunch of different dances from around the world. That looks like so much fun. Thank you to everyone that shared about their personal experiences. Atherton has been known for all of their musical talent, but what other intriguing talents do students have? On to our newest AOA segment called Talent Show. This week we're featuring Darius Jackson. My special talent is um, solving a Rubik's Cube. Oh, I bought one at GameStop one time and then my mom came in my room and mixed it up and she was like, she was like, so solve it for me. And I was like, uh, I don't know how to solve this. So then I like got determined to solve it and then I don't know, I just kept on mixing it up and resolving it again. My fastest time I've ever solved it is around, I would say 17, 17 seconds around there. <sighs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Do you have any talents? No. Yeah, that checks out, loser. Ouch. We're going to talk about this while you all are watching the hallway headlines. We're in the hallway. And here are the headlines. Congratulations to choir for receiving a unanimous distinguished rating at the KMEA District Choral Assessment. MSA students have collaborated with the REI team to develop a system for Ramadan prayers. Starting today, March 22nd to April 21st, students that have obtained parent permission are allowed to leave class at approximately 2 o'clock each day to observe Ramadan prayer activities. A list of students and additional details will be shared. Our unified basketball team has their first game today at 3.30. It's in the large gym against Butler, and it's free. Be sure to come out and show support. 
The last day for National Honor Society School Supplies Drive for elementary students is Friday, March 24th. Bring donations to Mr. Hoagland in room 210. Join us in wearing your powerful woman shirt in honor of Women's History Month for this week's Fun Shirt Friday. A friendly reminder to students and teachers to make sure you communicate with the receiving teacher ahead of time to ensure that it is okay for a student to stay after your class and or be late for the next. Senior prom is Saturday, March 25th from 7 to 11 o'clock at Mercury Ballroom. All staff members are invited for free. Please see Ms. Medley's email for more information. That's it for the headlines. And we'll see you in the hallways. That's all for this episode of Atherton On Air. I'm Eli Turner. And I'm Andrew Overstreet. Rock, Rock on, Raven. Raven.